I think what, what is really important work to do with people is to return them to fundamental questions about what they care about. Because, you know, as Ben was saying, this stuff is coming so fast, it's coming with such a lure. Because the promises are enormous. And it's really easy to get sucked into that. And so to ask yourself the question, do we even want this? Because maybe it doesn't correspond to fundamental values that we should be having. And then trying to figure out how do you act upon this as an individual, a citizen, a voter, a consumer, but also how do you act on this in a community way? And I'll, I'll give you an example, and I know that this risks you know, Luddite overtones, but it makes the point beautifully. Uh, one of my friends is David Klein. He's an Amish farmer in Ohio. One of the most beautiful people I know. He's also very conversant with all sorts of people. So when the English come to Amish country, they do bus tours, showing people you know, what the farms are like, what the traditions are, that sort of stuff. And David would do these tours. And he was finishing up a tour, had a wonderful time with these people. And it was Q&A time, not Q&R time. Q&A time. And the question was, is it true that you Amish people don't have televisions? And David said, ah, uh, yes, it is. And she says, why? And he said, well, for Amish people, when we think about the adoption of a technology, we always ask the question, is it good for the community? Right? And there's a lot that goes into that question. Is it good for the community? And they're, they're thinking about things like, you know, if people have automobiles, they'll just, it's too easy to go away instead of dealing with the family and dealing with the community and dealing with the hard work, you just escape. And so they want to cut off escape. They want to say, let's be together and figure out problems. But David said, yeah, we don't have TVs because we have noticed just by talking with people that families that have TVs, they don't talk to each other. They don't do things together. And it destroys family life. And so we decided as a community, we're not going to have televisions. And the woman said, hmm, OK. And then he said, now let me ask you a question. I'll ask all of you a question. How many of you believe that televisions have been bad for your families? Every hand went up. And then he said, and how many of you then decided to get rid of your televisions? Not a single hand went up. Now that to me is fascinating because it presents to us that we can adopt things that we know are not good for us that don't help us live out of our fundamental commitments that we think are best for the well-being of our communities or our own individual lives. And that's the allure of the promise of these devices. If you have this, oh, life will be so much better. But we don't stop enough to say, will it in fact make our lives better?